Hello, my friends. Welcome to uh, my floor. <laughs> I am sitting on the floor because I am going to be organizing my TBR cart. I am kind of doing like this end of summer reset uh, this week and trying to organize my life in a way that makes things easier for me going forward. This is something I've wanted to do for a while. I want to create a priority TBR so that actually getting to the things that I want to get to. I've tried to think about are there any books that I could unhaul and I can't. I can't do it. I just can't unhaul books that I haven't read. Well, I have unhauled books I haven't read, but it's really hard, difficult for me to do because I like giving everything a chance and like everything on my shelf right now are things that I'm interested in that I want to read. But as you can see, I kind of have a mess. When I reorganized my red bookshelves in the living room, I took all of my Funko Pops off of the shelf out there because I wanted I wanted a certain look to it and I brought them in here. Now all of my books are like packed up on these two shelves and this shelf is just nothing but Funkos. Okay, so I've taken away some space from my TBR shelves. Uh, these are random things, dictionaries, like non, not books that I would read per se. And then these are more TBR books here. Uh, this is tarot cards and stuff. First of all, this makes it really difficult to find books and I want to be able to see what I have in a better way. Um, this is the current condition of my TBR card, you guys. It's a mess. So the first step is going to be taking off everything off of the TBR card, going through it, and then creating that priority TBR. I'm gonna create a priority TBR of 50 books. And every time I read a book from that priority TBR, I will then replace it with another book. So we'll see what ends up going on the list. But yeah, let's just, let's get to it. Probably need to give this card a clean as well. Uh, where am I putting these? Let's put these here. I also am gonna have to go through my bookmarks and uh, like get rid of some of them. I have way too many and I keep them in here. Um, and then I also have all of these bookmarks that like can't fit in here. So maybe I just need to take these out of here and organize them in a different way. I don't know. Like what do I do with the ones that don't fit in here? Should I get like a, a cup to put them in? Maybe we'll do that. area on my mind focus okay on my dresser as you can see oh my god my tripod's really messing with me okay so I do have a little book here this is my current TBR well not this one that shouldn't be there um, but this is my current TBR for the month and as I read them I'm gonna keep them up here which is what I used to do with the top shelf of this book cart but now this is gonna be priority TBR and I have a little vase back here um, this one here i think i'm gonna put excess bookmarks in here but i'm gonna go through the bookmarks and see which ones i can get rid of all right let's do this obviously keeping this one and this one and i'm currently using my yumi bookmark right now so it's in a book i love this one but when it comes to bookmarks like these they get so beat up so easily this is for the bone houses by emily Lo lloyd jones i think this came in a book box but it's already like tearing and 
I'm gonna get rid of it. I have so many of these Barnes & Noble <laughs> bookmarks simply because I shop there so often, I work there, I come home with them all the time. That can go away. These are really cool. These are cards that came in the Gideon the Ninth box. So there's a card for each house, um, including the Ninth house. Probably sound bad. I don't feel the need to keep these. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're cool looking, but they're just hanging out here, not getting used or, I don't, it's not like really, a thing to display I don't know I'd keep the ninth house card just to like go with the book maybe use it as a bookmark I don't know Carew from Daughter of Smoke and Bone definitely keeping that Feyre and Reese book I love this gotta keep that another Barnes and Noble one do I really need like the fairy loot all the fairy loot ones probably not oh this definitely oh I forgot about that bookmark and these were part of a gift from Becky actually when she went to New Orleans so I'm planning like a little free library tour type video and I'm gonna take a bunch of books to little free libraries I think I'm just gonna save some of these bookmarks to put in those books uh, when I put them in the little free library so that might be a fun thing to do. I have a couple of book depository bookmarks. Should I keep these for nostalgia? Cause they're dead and gone now. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Ooh, this is the Nevernight bookmark. Definitely keeping that. This was a gift, keeping that. I took a break for lunch, so lipstick is gone, but bookmarks are organized. These are the bookmarks I'm keeping. These are all the ones that fit in my little bookmark tin these are gonna go over here in the little cup these are bookmarks that are gonna go in books that I'm putting in leaf little free libraries these are bookmarks that I'm recycling they're just they're old I don't need them they're getting recycled so bookmarks done now it's time to choose my priority TBR 50 books to fill up, oh, now you can't see the cart, <laughs> to fill up the TBR cart, which is down there. First up on the list is Yumi and the Nightmare Painter. This is priority number one. Priority number two, Yellow Face by Arv Kwong. Has to happen. I'm going to start with, okay, here's what I'm thinking. Anticipated releases that I own that I haven't read yet are gonna go on the priority TBR as well as any books that I can quickly finish a series with. So all three of these, because I do need to reread these before I read the final book, which is the one I haven't read yet. And then also that video that I did um, of books that I need to read before the end of the year, like the ones that are part of my pre-2021 TBR, those need to go on the priority TBR as well as my five-star predictions. Um, my latest round of five star predictions, which I honestly cannot remember what those are. I think I need to go back and rewatch the video. So I'm gonna do that. And then also my fairy loot books as well. And then from there, we'll try to decide what else should go on the list. Pre-2021 TBR. I didn't even think about whether or not I was gonna be able to fit 50 books on this TBR cart, but we shall find out how much it holds. Wuthering Heights, um, and then Five Star Predictions, Fairy Loot Book, another Fairy Loot Book, and also an anticipated release. I won this book in a Goodreads giveaway months ago. Actually, was it last year? Yep, this came out last year. Still haven't read it. Oh, oh Bridge of Souls was one of my Five Star Predictions. I'm watching the video. Ooh. This was another five star prediction. I think this one was too. So that's gonna go on. Ooh, The Last Graduate by Naomi Novik, which I'm also gonna put a deadly education because I have to reread this. Or, or this one. Wow, before this. <laughs> another five star prediction Iron Widow. I've completely lost a book. I don't know where it went. Oh, I found it. Found it. My battery's flashing. And we're back. Okay. I have just been putting books on here and I haven't been counting. So I'm going to count and see how many I have currently and then we'll go from there. I need nine more or ten more because apparently I can't count. Okay, this definitely has to go on this <laughs> priority TBR. I don't know why I keep putting this off, but it is the final book in a trilogy. So, oh, I found another fairy loot book. Okay, I think I got 
the final ones. I found another fairy loot book. I have a Sylvia Moreno Garcia. Oh my goodness. I just forgot. I have another one that I need to go on there. Another Sylvia Moreno Garcia. Too hot for parts. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 50 books. I have done it. Okay, I have set my priority TBR. I'm gonna go through all of the books with you that when I'm putting together my monthly TBRs, these are the books that I need to prioritize and pull from and pick up whenever I can. Uh, books that I should, in theory, be reading before the end of the year. So let me show you the cart. This is what it's looking like. Yes, it does fit 50 books. I was a little worried, but we've got them. So I just automatically put all of my fairy loot books on here because I have felt bad about honestly paying so much money every single month getting these beautiful books and I want them to be more than just art. Honestly, I want to actually read them and enjoy them. So I have them here, all of the ones that I have not read yet. Um, but as you saw, number one priority, You Mean the Nightmare Painter by Brandon Sanderson. Then we have Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. We have You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight by Kaylin Bayron. We've got The Lake House by Sarah Beth Durst. These are all anticipated releases. Um, we've got the Cassidy Blake trilogy by Victoria Schwab. So uh, City of Ghosts, Tunnel of Bones, and Bridge of Souls. These are part of the books. These are part of my pre-2021 TBR, so I need to read them before the end of the year. Um, we've got The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. We've got my two Disney Twisted Tales that I have left. I might have made this a little too tight. Um, Mirror, Mirror by Jen Kalanita. And So This Is Love by Elizabeth Lim. Then we have, oh, here we go, Sherlock Holmes Collection. Need to finish that. The Lives of Saints by Leigh Bardugo. And we've got Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Then we've got A Benny Song by P. J. L. Clark, his middle grade debut. We've got The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Chakshi. We've got A Memory Called Empire by Arcady Martin, which is again a part of the um, pre-2021 TBR. A fairy loot book. I have no idea what this one is about. It's not one that I heard about before it came in the box. So this is The Curse of Saints by Kate Dramas. I have I have no idea, but I guess I'm gonna be going into it blind. Uh, the Adventures of Mina al-Sarafi. Okay, down on the second shelf, we have The Ruthless Lady's Guide to Wizardry. This is one of my five-star predictions, as well as this one, which is Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. We've got Iron Widow by Shirin J. Zhao, which is another five-star prediction. The Last Graduate and A Deadly Education. Uh, let me take these out so we can see the ones in the back. Vida Nostra by Marina and Sergei Dyachenko. This is a translated work and it's one of my goals this year to read a total of 12 translated works and I've read zero <laughs> this year so far. So I should be prioritizing whatever translated books I have on my shelf. Um, we've got The Wilder Women by Ruth Emmy Lang. Um, the Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett, Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson, Spells for Forgetting by Adrienne Young, The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy by Megan Bannon, The City of Dusk by Tara Sim, uh, The Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune, Mortal Longings by Chloe Gong, and The Calculating Stars by Mary Robinette Qual. Okay, and here is the final shelf, my friends. We have got The Humans by Matt Haig. This is one of the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR. I kind of fell in love with Matt Haig's writing after reading uh, How to Stop Time, which was a book that I actually read for work. And I, I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it, but I absolutely loved it, gave it five stars, and now, and then, <laughs> I should say, wanted to read everything from Matt Haig, but never got around to it, but uh, here's The Humans. We've got The Dead Romantics by Ashley Paulston, which honestly I might read sooner than later because it's romance and like that is totally what I'm in the mood for right now. We've got Olivia Blake, La Petite Mort, um, 
any one of her books automatically goes on a priority TBR. That That is the rule. Alone with You in the Ether by Olivia Blake. This beautiful fairy loot edition. Oh, I cannot wait to read this. Um, we've got Family Lore by Elizabeth Acevedo, which actually comes out this month on the 23rd. So <sighs> I was hoping to read it before its release date, but I don't know if that's going to happen now. Network Effect is another five-star prediction. Lake's Edge and Forest Fall. This will be a reread for me so that I can finish out the series with Forest Fall. Uh, the Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. I decided to put this one on here because this is another one that is one of the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR. This is by Becky Chambers. This is part of the Wayfarer series, the first book in that um, cozy sci-fi series from what I've heard. So need to uh, make that a priority for sure. Okay. <laughs> Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco is one that I've saved from unhauling a couple times and I need to finally give it a read or unhaul it. Like, I, I need to make a decision. Um, Blanca y Roja by Anna Marie, Anna Marie McLemore, which is another pre-2021 TBR, as well as this one, which is Reborn Yesterday by Tessa Bailey, Vampire Romance. Probably more in the mood to read this now. Um, so should give that a read soon. Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. I don't need to say anything more about that at this point. Shanghai Immortal, and this is by A.Y. Chow. Don't know anything about this either, but excited to give it a read. Another fairy loot book. Then we've got two Sylvia Moreno Garcia books. The first one is The Daughter of Dr. Moreau, and then this one is Untamed Shore. So. Gotta give both of those a read. And then finally, the last book is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Another one that was like highly anticipated for me and still haven't read and it's been out quite some time now. Gotten a ton of hype. Everyone seems to love it. So definitely one that I need to prioritize. That is my 50 book priority TBR. And like I've said, I plan to keep this 50 book priority TBR a thing. So whenever I read one of the books off the list, I'm gonna replace it with another priority book. And hopefully this will be another way to help me just get through my massive physical TBR because, oh man, <laughs> there are just so much, there's so much, and it's so overwhelming. It really is. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you set a priority TBR as well? Let me know, and also let me know what book you have been putting off forever, because we all have that one book. Or, or many books that we just keep putting off for whatever reason. But that is gonna be it for me today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.